So this is the valve body installed. It's an MV stage 1.5. Uh, did the unboxing video before that. Um, so I've put all the bolts back in. My earlier video showed you which bolts went where. Um, they're all torqued down to 65 uh, inch pounds, not foot pounds, inch pounds, which is, uh, you basically need one of those mini torque wrenches that you put a like a bicycle together with. It's not a lot of torque at all. Um, the conversion's just under six foot pound, um, five point something foot pound uh, when I converted it on online. Um, so yeah, paying attention to how all of this went, uh, the orientation of this, um, yeah, basically where everything went. Uh, everything's clean, obviously. When I took all of these bolts out and gave them a quick clean. They have a little bit of transmission oil on them from the packaging uh, that I got the valve body in, just as a little bit of lube. Don't want to put anything in dry. Yes, that's right. So uh, basically I just need to connect up the wiring. As I said, it, the wiring, it only goes in one way. You can sort of see how the loom wants to lay where it wants to lay. So I'll, uh, I'll connect that back up. Now that's the pan. Again, nice and clean. All the magnets, I've taken all the magnets out. They're all clean, they're just stuck back down there. Uh, I've got it of wire wheeled. Um, all of the gas get off. Well, you know, most of it. There's only tiny little bits here and there. That's fine though. Now I've got some um, oil resistant RTV silicon. I don't recommend you use the cork gasket that comes with the um, the filter kit. Your, your filter that bolts onto the top here on this point, this point, and this point. Um, it usually comes with one of those cork gaskets. Um, throw that in the bin. Don't ever, ever use one of those cork gaskets. Um, you shouldn't need to, honestly. It's a nicely machined surface. Um, clean up all of the stuff with a nice sharp scraper or a blade. Careful not to dig into anything. Just nice and gentle. It should come off relatively easy. Give it a wipe down with some um, parts cleaner or something like that. Don't hose it in there. Put it on a rag wipe nice and clean so it's nice and fresh put a little bead of silicon on this around all your bolt holes tiny little bead on this surface so you've got a tiny little bead on both surfaces put that on top of here start putting your bolts in just let it sit there for a little bit with the bolts just nipped up leave it for about 15 minutes or so then do your final talk and that's it she'll be ready to go